Hey guys, welcome back to Furnace Cleanse. I figured I'd show you how things looked when things worked the way they're supposed to. I just got an undead evasion, and they're coming in. Um, not too many of them yet. But what I did was, because it was nearing the end of season, which is when I seem to get invasions in this area, I have already dropped the airlock on the inside and took the trade depot out of my burrow so I wouldn't collect jobs from there. There we go, that's starting to collect up. Now, one of the other things I've done is I locked all the doors here so the undead wouldn't get ideas about popping in the doors and trying to pop my dogs. Eh, decent amount of them. So as you can see, they're trucking right down my little path here. And in time, I'll probably put some kind of siege weaponry here just to have some fun with it. If for no other reason to slow things down in case I've got the airlock open. And they're dropping right down into the OMG uh, entry. I've still got a decent amount of idlers. I'm going to have idlers basically from now on, I would assume. Unless I'm in the middle of a massive dump or something like that. For example, I've got probably 50 or 60 green glass statues I'll have to dump here at some point. But everybody's just trucking through. Oh, we're up to 86 of them now. I still need to get down into Cavern 1 and see if I can't move those um, Mega Beasts out. What I'm thinking I may do is, once I get down into that general direction, I may set up some siege weapons, probably a couple of ballista, maybe some catapults shooting over their heads, something like that, down some form of passageway. I'll use a suicide door for three to get in there, cut the trees, I hope, or what I'll have to do is I'll have to build some kind of siege weapon maze into the area I've already claimed and then use one suicider to go break the walls. I haven't really decided how we're going to do that yet. That's going to be up for grabs. One of the things you'll notice here is none of them are pathing around to go after the trade depot. None of these guys are building destroyers. And with the doors locked, they're not bothering to come over here. Now, if you guys remember, I built a little stairway here. But one of the things that's stopping that is I have a forbidden and locked marble hatch that's a legendary hatch. So it's unbreakable from that side, in theory. I believe building destroyers can break it because the pathing will allow them all the way through the fort back up so they can theoretically see top and bottom via pathing. Um, we haven't had the chance to truly test that out yet, but for everybody else, so far so good. So these guys are just pathing down and that's pretty much all I really needed to show you here. So I'll bring you back if something interesting comes up from this. So a little evidence that our windows work. Our dog just saw a thief two squares away through the windows. Now, I have had thieves manage to sneak in a bit. I'm not going to say that this is a perfect solution. Um, but they do work generally. And this guy actually got caught by the first dog. But he immediately just does a U-turn and goes away. Snatchers will do the same thing. Well, he usually goes away. What's he doing? I think he's confused, but eventually he'll just wander off. So up here on the surface, I've got two partial skeletons of a minotaur that popped in a little while ago. Join us to be annoying. Now, we've shot him down a couple of times, but he just won't get away from the glass windows here. Now on the thread, somebody had mentioned putting an overhead grating um, as a thief and whatnot detector. So I have built this out and I'm going to put a couple of dogs in there eventually. But right now, I've got to clear out these two twits. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the iron arrows and the urges of... Oh, not the sabers. Iron arrows and urges of whipping. And we're going to move them up here. And then once they shoot these guys down, I'll open up the trade depot, I'll move one of the crossbow teams out and around, and I'll have them escort some dumps on these. Well, one of my archers has shown up. And they're taking pot shots. Uh, looks like we took out one of the skeletons here. Yep, the head's dead. And we just need them to take out the body. While they're getting shot at, we're going to open up the trade depot. We 
which is our quickest access to surface. Okay, they've knocked both up, down. I'm going to leave these guards here. Once that bridge comes down, we'll move the lashers out. Actually, I can get the lashers moving here. I'll grab the red sabers. Uh, let's not move them right underneath where I'm dropping the bridge. Let's move them there. Alright, bridge is down. Now we're just going to wait for the lashers, so we're going to move the lashers here. It's late summer. This may not have been my brightest plan, but we'll see how this works out. I get a lot of sieges and whatnot in late summer. But with the guards posted out, hopefully this won't be too bad. I love how the kids come out to play with the military. That's just wonderful. Okay, and with the sabers getting there, we're going to set these two things to dump. I'll let those dumps get picked up. And I'll dump the upper arm bone. And once I get another idler, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the urges of whipping out of station. I have some more idlers. We're gonna dump the head. Oh crap, the head can rise up too. With the lashes right there, they should be able to take these guys down roughly instantly. Somebody got caught up in the bathtub and decided it was a bad idea. Now, one of the other things I wanna do is remove these windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these dogs out. Gonna unlock that. We're going to come up here. We're going to put the war dogs in here. Uh, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this pen pastor. I'm going to take that one out of his. This pen pastor. I'm going to take that one out of his. So I've got two war dogs who don't have pastures. And we're going to assign them. Um, currently pasture. Turn off P. So we'll assign that one. And again, turn on currently pastured. And there we go. So those two stray war dogs should be picked up by dwarves and dragged up here to our overhead watchtower. Now, I don't have the overhead shooting gallery that I did before. What is that up there? His right hand. That's bad. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Uh, we're going to build an upward stairway. I guess we'll build it here. That's going to be annoying. So, I'm going to have to leave the archers there for a little bit. Take that hand off. And once we've got that... That's a... It jumped uh, two levels to get up there. Not good. So, we'll build an upward stair, then we'll build a downward stair, and then we'll dump that hand again, hopefully. And what we'll do here, where this glass... Uh, windows used to be, and I'll, I'll knock these down too. Uh, we'll just turn those into normal walls. Just so I stop getting uh, building destroyers, getting distracted from going down into the OMG, because that's becoming problematic. This boy is useless over here, isn't he? Uh, let's move the red sabers up here a bit. One of the things I hadn't thought about was I probably should have set the dump to be down in the OMG, just down here. It would have been a much shorter walk than trying to carry it all the way through the fort. I could have had them just dump it from right there. Um, I'd have to cancel the dumps, but that may be worth it. Um, let's stop that dump. I don't want to stop them for anything they're already carrying. Stop that dump. Stop that dump. And what we'll do is we'll have them uh, just dump them downstairs here. So we'll go down here. Garbage dump. Now we're going to go back up. Uh, unpause it for a second so the jobs get noticed. Now, now we're going to dump that a lot closer and a lot less dangerous than dragging it all the way into the fort. So, in the middle of that, uh, the, the little left hand down there had re rezzed up. I had to remember to put the burrow over here so that we could actually build a stairway. We'll get that dumped here shortly. 
So I know that last piece cut off pretty shortly. Um, I just want to end up this section here. Um, I cut that off shortly simply because there was a lot of blather and information that I could pass along much quicker just by doing a later copy. So fast forward about four months from that point, and I can just show you what's going on here. Uh, we've cleaned out everything inside the entryway. We've replaced all of the glass blocks. We've turned them into walls. Up above here, we have our two dogs, two doors, walls. They're sitting on top of grates. They've managed to catch two thieves so far and detected a snatcher. Over here, we have an up-down stairway going up onto the top of where the dogs are. Similar to below, that will give me the ability to perch archers above an undead dog or two, if that should happen, so we can clean them out as necessary. Other than that, down here, we've turned off the garbage dump and removed the safe and sound burrow from that particular dump so people stop trying to go that way. And our trade depot is good to go again. So our entryway is cleaned up from random interlopers. Next time we get a Titan or a Minotaur or something in, we'll find out if this legendary hatch is too much of a distraction for them from dumping in. Because what they'll have to do to go after the hatch is they'd have to go around, back up, and around again. Possible, but we'll see what they do. Hey guys, so as I'm editing and I'm looking over my material and after doing this update, I'm finding I'm hitting about the time slot that I like to hit for my episodes. I realize not a lot of extravagant things happened in this episode, but it could have gotten interesting. But it does display how the entryway works, things like that. I may be doing overkill and showing you things twice, but it's kind of where I'm at. I have a decent amount of material for the next episode already, actually. Uh, I'm in the middle of editing, which is why I realized that I needed to put this last component in for you. So, hopefully the next one won't be too far delayed out. But in the meanwhile, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.